How's it going guys? And welcome back to another JHR review. And today I have some more Japanese erasers from iWaco. I'm gonna move them out of the way so I don't show you immediately what they are. But we're gonna unpack these today and uh, see what we got going on. So the first one that we have right here, if we focus in, is some sea creatures, and I think we've only gotten a whale before, so I'm really excited to uh, take a closer look at these. Let's grab our trusty scissors. There we go. And let's just slide these guys out of here. There we go. Has a nice little kind of uh, background on there too. So the first one I want to look at is this, um, I think this is a manta ray. Let's zoom in on it real quick, get a good focus. So I'm not sure if this is a manta ray or a stingray. It has a really short tail, so I would assume it's not a stingray, but I'm actually not too sure. That's really cool though. I really like the way that it's shaped. It looks like it can swim through water pretty good. Let's go ahead and see how it separates. So separates right here into like two pieces. Let's zoom out a little bit. And then it has the eyes in a separate part as well. And then it clamps back together. That's really cute. And the back has a little thing there too. There we go. Um, let me know what it is in the comments below. I'm thinking the mouth and these little thingies on the front make it something different, but I'm not sure if I actually know what it is. But I like that uh, it has the little gills at the bottom and it has the little tiny uh, separation in the eyes. It's kind of cool. And then right here we have a sea turtle. And turtles are my favorite, by the way. Let's turn the light down a little bit. It seems a little overexposed. There we go. Look at the lighting and uh, everything on the shell, how it changes when you move it around. I love turtles so much. I actually have a red-eared slider and it is a water turtle. This guy separates into two different pieces along with the peg that goes for the eyes. If I can get that back in. And then the little flippers are full of detail and texture as well. The head is pretty detailed too, along with the feet and even the bottom. I really like that one. That's my favorite so far. And then right here we have a whale. I think it might be a sperm whale. I'm not too sure. I do see it has the little kind of mouth thing for taking in plankton, it looks like. It could be a shark. I, but I think it's a whale, though it doesn't have the little thing on the top. I'm not very uh, knowledgeable on sea species, but this one comes out like this. And what's really cool is these pegs go through the top of it, causing it to have that color. And I really like how they do that. I don't know why, it's just super satisfying, especially when you put it back in. Let me see if I can line it up right. And then... Whoop. Look at that. And then you just connect everything else back together and it turns into a whale or a shark or something I don't know about. <laughs> Let me know in the comments below. And this is a new one completely. Right here, if we focus in on the packaging real quick, we have some dinosaurs. Now I've never gotten dinosaurs before, surprisingly, but uh, this actually says dinosaur two. So I'm assuming there's a first pack. Maybe I have it laying around. I'll have to check my bag. I keep a lot of these erasers like in a bag and I didn't know I had some of these, so I'm really happy I found them. Let's go ahead and cut this guy open with our trusty scissors. There we go. And take these guys out. Ooh, I like that there's a pterodactyl in here. Let's go ahead and uh, pull the pterodactyl up. Get a good zoom on it. 
right there. What do you guys think? All right. Yeah, this is really nice. I don't think this one separates, though. Unless the head... Co oh, it does. <laughs> um, one thing I just noticed, though, is the head is a different color than the rest of the body. Um, I don't know if that's on purpose, or they just didn't color the head right. Or maybe this is for a different model. I'm not too sure. Details are pretty good, though. We got some nice kind of wing texture, some bone texture. Kind of looks weird when I move it from side to side. Kind of looks like his head's cocking back and forth. And of course, we got uh, the little feet, which I'm going to be honest, guys. Does that not look like just human hands? That literally looks like you could put like a human on it and turn it into some kind of like flying like bat demon or something. That does not look like a uh, pterodactyl claws. <laughs> Anyways, my imagination. So I do like this one. Um, I feel like maybe the eyes come out if you pushed on them, but I really don't want to mess this up. So let's go ahead and move on. And now we have the mighty T-Rex. And I'm not sure how this guy comes apart. His mouth is flexible enough to move, which is cool. Kids would love that. It looks as though the legs are what come off and they have two different little um, nubs right there to go inside. So you could have it, uh, <laughs> man, poor guy, pretty much no arms and no legs now. Uh, so that works. You can just put these back on here. See if I can actually get it to go in. And there we go. And then the other one on this side. Perfect. I like this one, but I'm still leaning the pterodactyl. Um, but the turtle still my overall favorite. And then we have this guy right here. I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. Let me know in the comments below. I'm hoping his top piece comes off. It feels like it does. It moves and says, oh, wow. This is different. Usually the entire dinosaur splits 100% in half, but this one right here, they decided to add the little detail on the top fin-like thing right there, and then press it together. So the seam lines are actually um, on the sides rather than down the center. That's pretty cool. I like that. And going on to a different theme we focus in. We have some sushi erasers, and uh, I love myself some food erasers, so let's open this guy up with the trusty scissors. And I've done some sushi erasers before, but I don't know if I've specifically done these. Also, uh, I don't think I showed this before. This is what the uh, packaging looks like on this one. And before on the dinosaurs, it had some bones, kind of cute. Let's take a closer look at these guys. We're going to focus on a little farther out this time. There we go. So these are fish eggs, I believe. And then the inside is probably rice with maybe some veggies, or maybe it's just that. It doesn't look like they actually um, put the rice in there. That's kind of disappointing because I don't think that these actually come without any rice in them. I think the center is supposed to be rice because in the outside, I believe, uh, sushi is oni onigiri, I think. That'd be kind of hard to chew through, I think. But overall, I think it's pretty cool. Um, this one, erasing from this side would be the best, but I could not imagine erasing with these little tiny balls because you're going to get multiple lines coming out. Maybe it'd be good for doing some kind of abstract art, though. That's what I'm talking about. We have some rice, and I believe this is salmon on the top. We pull that off. You can see that the rice texture on here is really nice. It's all the way around, even on the underside. They did not skimp on that one. You can push it together. It's only a two-parter on this one, but I like that one a lot. 
And this one you guys are going to have to help me out on because I don't know what this is. It's some kind of uh, topping, but I'm actually not sure what kind of topping it is. I feel like I've tried it before, but I don't remember what it tastes like or what it's called. So let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I'm going to move everything into the center right here. And we went through quite a few this time. We have some nice dinosaurs, some sea creatures, and even uh, some different types of food items. And, you know, um, these are actually pretty useful, especially for, um, let's say that you are a teacher and you want to maybe get your students who are doing really good a gift, but also make it something functional they can use for class. I think these would be something really cool that you could do something like that with. But yeah, all of these are really nice and I'm really happy that I was able to uh, acquire them. A huge shout out to my Patreons. Thank you guys so much for your support. You guys are awesome. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and maybe that notification bell as well. Feel free to check out my Patreon in the description below. I have a multitude of tiers that you can help support the channel. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.